Our first presentation is noted as with the title, Drug Repurposing for the Treatment of Osteoarthritis. Please help me to welcome Nasra. How many of you know someone who suffers from excruciating knee pain? It could be your grandmother or someone for whom it's hard to walk or even stand up due to debilitating joint pain. The most common cause of joint pain is osteoarthritis and currently it affects more than 30 million people in America. A major factor involved in osteoarthritis is inflammation, which is like a fire in the body that damages the cartilage. Cartilage is a slippery rubber-like layer between two bones that protects them from rubbing against each other and allows smooth movement. In osteoarthritis, this layer of cartilage breaks down, resulting in severe pain. Unfortunately, there is no cure for this disease and the existing therapies only provide temporary relief from pain. And the ultimate option is to undergo a joint replacement surgery. What would you prefer, a joint surgery or a drug that could cure it? A drug, right? However, developing a new drug from scratch takes about $2.6 billion and years of safety testing and long clinical trials that could last up to 12 years. So I propose to use an alternative strategy called as drug repurposing. It involves selecting an existing drug that has already been tested and approved for one disease and investigate its effects in another disease. It's like teaching an old dog new tricks, and this is exactly what I'm doing in my PhD project. I started off with screening a large number of drugs for their beneficial effects in osteoarthritis, and I identified a drug called PRT. PRT has already been tested safe for human use in cancer clinical trials, and I'm evaluating its effects in osteoarthritis. I found that PRT was a potent suppressor of inflammation in cartilage cell culture. And more importantly, PRT inhibited the breakdown of cartilage, indicating that it has a potential to reduce the symptoms of osteoarthritis. This could help in treating osteoarthritis without spending billions on joint replacement surgeries and waiting for long clinical trials. My future aim is to confirm these effects of PRT in a mouse model, and we still have a long way to go, but I believe that once the results are tested in mice, PRT could be easily repurposed for the treatment of osteoarthritis, and hopefully this will help in paving the way towards a pain-free future. Thank you.